How you doing guys? Welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. I've been requested to actually set up a honeypot and I was doing some research what's out there and what we can do to learn about honeypots and what's the easiest way to deploy them. I found Pentbox. If you have Kali Linux, we can uh, follow along with this video, set up a honeypot. It's very simple. I've tested it. It's an awesome little tool. We'll do a manual install and a automatic install so we can see different ways that it's detecting intrusions. So if you're ready, let's get into the video. Thank you. All right, guys, welcome back. So this is my Kali machine. So we're going to be getting right into the video with installing Pentbox Honeypod. Okay, so let's go to Google and let's go to the repository. And before we do that, let's actually, I have it installed, I believe, in here. I just want to, I just want to delete this really quick so we can see the whole uh, install together. All right, so let's go to Google, Pentbox, GitHub. Okay, so. <clears throat> Here is the repository for, uh, not, no, not this one. Um, let's go to, I wanna sh make sure I'm using the, let's, let's, uh, Pentbox, this one. Yeah, this is the one. All right, so I just wanna make sure I'm utilizing the same one I used before. Um, so here we have the URL. So we can right click and copy this, okay? So now let's open up, let's minimize this for now. And we're gonna open up the command prompt or the, the terminal window. And we're gonna zoom this in just a little bit so we can make this bigger, bigger, okay, perfect. So it's pretty big now. Let's do an LS, let's CD into YouTube. Okay, LS, we have a few things here, but not um, Penhub. So let's go git clone and paste the pentbox URL. All right, so now if I do an ls, we have pentbox. So let's go into that ls. We can now we can run this command, which is going to unzip the tar file. Okay, let's just right click and copy this. So I'm a copy and paste kind of guy. All right, so now that's installed. So now we can just do CD pentbox ls, and now we can run this script right here, copy, and we can do dot backslash paste, and now this is the tool. Okay, let's make this bigger. All right, so what we're gonna be focusing on in this video is the honeypot. So if we select option two from network tools, we will see six options, seven if you wanna count back, but we're focused on the honeypot, okay? So it's option three. So we can hit option three and you must run the Pentbox with root pip privileges. All right, so we're gonna be doing and demonstrating both of these. We're gonna do the manual and the automatic, but the first one we're gonna do is automatic. So let's type one for fast auto configuration. And now the the, the honeypot is running on port 80. So now what we have to do really quick is get my IP address of this bot. Um, oops, sorry. It's, we can copy this. We can, we can actually X out of here for now. Let's go to Firefox. We can open up a new browser and paste that bad boy. And it should say access denied because um, because now it's you know it's being detected as an intrusion. So now if we minimize this, we can see here intrusion attempt detected, and it's coming from this IP address. So I want to show you something really quick, which I think would be pretty beneficial. So we can test this outside of this VM. I also have a Parrot uh, OS. Okay, let's X out of there, and let's go to the Parrot. There we go. What's going on? How come I can't get to this parrot? 
Doom, 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 doom. There we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and open up a terminal real quick. And let's try to ping, make sure we can get to that 99.8. Whoop, dyslexic. Eight, okay, so we're on the same network, perfect. And let's do an if config, I think I'm nine. Okay, perfect. So now let's X out of here. And we can go to Safari, I'm not Safari, excuse me, Firefox. Start Firefox. And now let's paste this, oh, not that, 192.168. It's on port 80 and we should get the same thing. Now, if we go back to our server, which is our, our Kali box, we should see something that's coming from dot, what was it, dot nine? What was it, dot eight? Oh my God, I can't even remember. I think it's dot nine. Let's do if config. Yeah, the other one's dot nine. So you can see right in here, perfect, here we go, um, dot nine. So you can see that the intrusion attempt detected and, and, and you can see that, you know, we were able to catch those. So let's do one other thing. We're going to change it up a little bit. Let's clear this out so we can, um, so this is pretty much how you set up a, a honeypot on your Kali box and it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy. It's good to learn to understand what an, uh, in, 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 like a honeypot is. And, and, and just get practice with it, you know, hands-on practice and laving it up is, is always a beneficial practice to do. All right, so now what we're gonna do really quick, let's run this again. Now we're gonna do the manual. Okay, so let's go back into two network tools. And now we're gonna go back into number three. See, the first time we did the fast auto configuration, now we're gonna do two, the manual, okay? And insert port, so I wanna do port 23. Okay, and insert a message. Uh, uh, you you are not allowed to remotely access my system. Okay, boom. Okay, save the log. Yeah, we can just say yeah. We can always delete it. Let's just say yeah for now. And that's where it's gonna save. All right, so, and uh, no, we don't want to do certain, okay? So now we have, we have it running on port 23. So now let's go back to our parrot box. Uh, parrot box, okay. So now let's go ahead and open up. Let's do, zoom in a little bit more. Zoom in, zoom, zoom, zoom. I think that should be uh, zoomed in enough. So what we're gonna do here is telnet, and then the IP address 192.168.99.8. Oh my god, 99.8, and then it's um, 23, right? So now it's connected. Okay. So now if we go back to our our um, Kali box, we can see right here that the attempt was detected on port 23. You see that? So that's how you manually set up the configuration for any port that you want to detect from the outside. Obviously, you can open up ports in your router. You could do a lot of stuff with this if you really want to go a little crazy. But this is like your basic um, configuration, basic setup for the honeypot. So let's go ahead and uh, check out this log. Okay, let's. Uh, Let's copy this CD into here. Let's actually just go to other. Uh, let's just do this really quick. Let's see where that is uh, located. Let's see, let's go like this real quick. Doom, doom, doom. Copy this. Okay. Interesting. Um, pen box other. So let's just go into the pen box. Let's just do this. CD pen box ls. Just go like this really quick.
Interesting. Let's see. It's really. Here we go. Oh, you too. Oh, okay. I messed it up. But that's fine. Let's just open this up with editor. Okay. And now this will be the log that we can, you know, that we can see. And what I want to do, let me just do this really quick. And YouTube. I want to actually, and there's another way to do that too if you want to um, try to get it through to the command line. So let's just go back YouTube and then CD and now we do LS here. Here's that directory. Whoops. So CD other LS and now here is the log right here. So we can copy this cat. Then we can paste it and then we can see that log here. I just didn't know where the log was, where it was saved. Um, I just started using this, so it's a relatively new to me. So I figured I'd just do a video to show you guys how to install it, how to use it. Um, it's a pretty cool little tool, but that's pretty much it. That, that, that concludes the video. So if you liked it, please like, subscribe, leave any comments. Let's learn together during this process. So have a good day and see you guys in another video. Thanks, guys.